Hey guys, back again with another SpaceX update. SpaceX started the week with the successful launch and deployment of another 60 production level satellites for its Starlink constellation. This week, SpaceX is also aiming for the static fire test of its Crew Dragon capsule, now scheduled to take place Wednesday, November 13th. While in Boca Chica, the weather has delayed progress a bit. Over the weekend in Boca Chica, the pace was frenetic as usual. Over the weekend on Saturday, November 9th, the first aft fin was installed on Mark 1. On Monday, November 11th, the second aft fin was reinstalled. With the forward and aft fins now installed, Mark 1 again is starting to look more like a rocket than just a cylindrical structure. Over the weekend, sections of the raceways were also seen being attached. In the previous update, I mentioned road closures were scheduled in Boca Chica Beach for November 12th, with backup days of November 13th and 14th. Due to unfavorable weather conditions, a cold front moving through the area, the closure dates have now been cancelled with a new primary day for testing now scheduled for Sunday, November 17th. Landing Pad Expansion Work is still being done on the landing pad. Some new footage captured by John Randolph shows some of the work that was done on the pad over the weekend, a lot of concrete pouring and smoothening out of the surface. New fencing and gates were also added along State Highway 4. In the coming months, we should really expect to see the build site and the launch site evolve into a more sophisticated launch complex capable of supporting a vehicle with the capabilities of Starship. Mark II Dome Installation over in Coco, there's some new aerial footage, and from the looks of it, dome installation could be happening sometime soon. With the weather delaying some of the progress in Boca Chica, Mark II development now has a chance to catch up a bit with Mark I. Starlink Launch Review On November 11, 2019 at 9.56am Eastern Standard Time, SpaceX successfully launched another batch of 60 of its production-level satellites for Starlink Constellation. Starlink is SpaceX's incredibly ambitious plan to provide low-latency, high-bandwidth, global broadband internet coverage. With this launch, SpaceX managed to check off a number of critical milestones. For one, Monday's launch marked the first time the same Falcon 9 booster flew for a fourth time. The booster on this mission previously launched Iridium-7, Psychom one a and PSN-6. The mission also marked the fourth successful landing for this booster. In addition to that, the mission also achieved the first reflight of a fairing. According to SpaceX, this is the first time that anyone has reflown a fairing ever. The fairing was previously flown on the Arabsat-6 mission. At this launch, we were also expecting an attempt by SpaceX to recover both halves of the fairing using Gomez 3 and the newly modified Gomez Chief. That attempt, however, was aborted due to rough seas. The fairing recovery was highly anticipated by fans and was expected to come along with some spectacular photos, but I guess we'll now have to wait for SpaceX's next attempt. This was SpaceX's heaviest payload to date, surpassing the previous Starlink launch. SpaceX has made upgrades to the new batch of 60 satellites. All satellites are now 100% demisable and designed to increase spectrum capacity for the end user. The team in Redmond have doubled the number of stream-phased array broadband beams, which amounts to a 400% in data throughput per satellite. A new K-band antenna system was also added. There are now some amazing photos surfacing online of the train of satellites being spotted by astronomers and stargazers all over the world. The satellites are deployed all at once and then slowly disperse. This is done to reduce complexity. SpaceX just keeps checking off milestones. It's still quite amazing evaluating how much progress the company has made in just a few years. Just about four years ago, on December 21st, 2015, SpaceX achieved its first successful ground landing of a Falcon 9 booster. In April 2016, the company achieved the first landing of a Falcon 9 booster at sea. Now we're at a point where SpaceX has been able to fly the same Falcon 9 booster four times and achieve a smooth, stable landing. Lessons learned from Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy are now being applied and are extremely instrumental in the construction of Starship and Super Heavy. SpaceX, as usual, has a lot of work to do in the coming weeks. If all goes well before the end of the year, we could possibly see another Starlink launch, a Crew Dragon in-flight abort test, and a Crew Dragon certification, as well as the 20km test of Mark 1 where it demonstrates its skydiver maneuver. Hopefully, the weather conditions in Boca Chica right now don't delay progress too much.